Welcome everyone to Philadelphia Union Soccer. The Philadelphia Union have taken on FC Dallas three previous times. They have yet to beat this Texas team. They're hoping that tonight is the night. Hartman sets a record for his third 373rd start. But for Philadelphia, Freddie Adu gets a start in the diamond midfield out wide left. Don't be shocked to see Freddie Adu, Ponovic and Latou interchanging with their runs. FC Dallas in the red and white stripes. Keys to the game brought to you by Local Tri-State Toyota Dealers. Toyota moving forward. Proactive movement. You come off with a full week of training. First pass, first touch. Get forward. Dictate the pace of play. And two will take this. Sends it low near post. Ponovic with a flick. Pretty close. Second corner. Caleb in the air. Knocking it out between the benches. Caleb part of that strong central defense of the Philadelphia Union. This portion of the match, sponsored by Adidas, all passion all together. It's coming back towards Valdez. He lost it. Mike Santos has an easy goal on an uncharacteristic miscue from Carlos Valdez. One of the Dallas. And it comes off a long throw in, and Carlos Valdez is going to want to have this one back. Keep it simple, but it's his first step back on it. He's not reacting in the right way. He's thinking, should I head it back to Farid? This ball's got to be booted 30 yards into the stands. Right here, head it back early on. If not, that ball's got to be kicked 40 yards upfield. And this is off a long throw, and Peter Novak is not going to be happy with that. You've got to be organized. But again, it's real simple. If Valdez kicks that 30 yards forward, that's not a goal. But give Santos credit. Yeah. Fouls the play up. Seventh goal of the year. Most of those were scored all but one. This one with Toronto. He had uh, one assist last week. Chavez goal. Mike on Santos started his career with Chivas USA. That's blocked. So FC Dallas gets the game's first goal. Union in the last two games got the game's first goal. Couldn't hold on to those leads. Ended up with two straight draws. Foul was called that time. Nasty Chavez. challenge from Chavez. As he's going to get booed probably for the rest of the night. Anytime a player is injured, takes time on the field. Once he comes back in, the fans are here. Let him have it. But the Philly fans. George John. And this is. Just takes a run at Sebastian Latou. And a yellow card. More importantly, a free kick here. And, and George John, there's no reason. Let it go. I mean, yellow card's a little rough on that because you see that about 100 times a game. But I never understood as a center back, why would you even give it a chance for the referee to call foul here? Now you get a dangerous opportunity for Philadelphia to get back in this game. Someone from Philadelphia has to get in front of Danny Hernandez. Near post run. Cause havoc for Kevin Hartman's sideline. Adieu, step over, Latou sets it in, save Hartman, that's a beauty. Fifth corner kick of the night for Philadelphia. Absolutely great free kick from Sebastian Latou with pace. If Hartman doesn't touch that, that's hitting the inside of the post going in. Just with pace, Valdez is knocking on the door. On the air by George John, Lloyd. Right side, tackled out by Freddie Adu. And the Dallas bench appeals for a card to get one to Freddie Adu. And I'm not so sure this is a yellow card if it's not right in front of Shellis Heidman and FC Dallas's bench. Freddie Adu's coming from behind, that's a yellow card. Yeah, yeah, no is. doubt about that it. Is. Doubled up, got it forward. McInerney turns. Second try at it, Map behind it, couple of defenders in the box, it goes down, is it a penalty? Yes, it is! And Philadelphia will have a chance to equalize. Latou, one for one this year. And Justin Mack make, making a great run in behind. I thought he took too long, but he did a good job of baiting Ugo, thinking he can get this. The only goal Sebastian Latou has scored this year. 
has come on a penalty kick against San Jose. It was 16 games ago. And he is 4-for-4 four four in his career with Philly. And it took me a while in that replay because I wanted to see who walked over there to grab that ball. Both Freddie Dew, Sebastian Latou wanted to take this penalty kick. Hartman has faced one penalty kick this year. He did not make the save on it. The opponents 1-for-1 one one against Hartman. A chance to tie for Latou. How big this could be. On the whistle, Latou with a strike, 1-1. One, one. I think that was pressure. If he doesn't score there, you've got to wonder how that weighs on his mind. And I was watching him walk over there. He wasn't 100% convincing, grabbing the ball, discussing it with Freddie Adu. But he's convinced me. He buried that penalty kick, walked right up, hit it with pace. Hartman had no chance. That long ball is not working tonight. If you're going to play long ball, someone has to challenge that. Aonovic, McInerney, the two. Look at this ball. Mike Gonzalo sends in Chavez. Right beyond and then off the post and then Breck Shea just tapped it in. 2-1 FC Dallas and Philadelphia gets burnt again late in the half. But that's a, that's on Philadelphia. You've got a free kick at the end of the first half in Dallas's own end. And you hit a ball and if you consistently play long balls with no challenges, the ball's going to come right down your throat and Santos plays in a perfect ball to Chavez. You give Breck Shea a lot of yeah. credit. These so many players do not follow this play through. Breck Shea does finish, and this is just the it's the little things that kind of cost Philadelphia right now of not being in first place. And that's seeing out the half. Benitez headed forward, knocked ahead by the two. Freddie Adu, long ball to McInerney. That's off Benitez. McInerney's back heel. And he heavily swept it away. Mike on Santos, so he must have gotten called for dissent. That's my guess. Mike on Santos. So it had to be for dissent. He thought he was fouled at the other end. We didn't see it actually presented. But I did see the referee writing down the name. So Danny Mwangu has scored most of his goals in the second half this season. All of them, actually. Well, come on. Freddie Dew's night is done. And you get the sense that he'll become a fan favorite here. But at, at this point, one training session. Taylor, 62 minutes. I'm not sure how many of us expected him to get 90 minutes tonight. Versatile. He can play outside. He can play inside. Three goals and a couple of assists. He's also scored in other competitions for this team this year. And the yellow card to McInerney. McInerney just getting caught with his ball under his feet. Takes down Ricardo. I mean, these are the type of think Latou's going to try to go near post right around Benitez. Two left it. Torres step over, curls it in there. Wow, that was Hartman in a full stretch. Not bad for a first touch. No, not bad at all. And Latou does a wonderful job, and Torres for that matter, of making Hartman think he's hitting it. Torres takes that first step, the wall leaves. Oh, just they, wide. They both sold that well. Very well. And that's difficult because Roger Torres takes one step, then has to retreat. He loses momentum. He just missed it. But the fact that they spread things out and they have such speed that the middle guys really have to kind of stay at home. And boy, they've got two handfuls to deal with on both sides. As you say that, watch this free kick from FC Dallas. Just trying to think, Taylor, of all these teams in the league as VR takes the shot and Mondragon stops out. All the teams in Major League Soccer, how many teams have threats on the wings like Chavez and Breck Shea? Referee turns his attention to the fourth official. 
Shannon Williams tackled away by Shea. That's a foul. In a great spot if you're Philadelphia. If that's a card, he's done. That's yeah. it. That's George John. Second yellow. Had to wait and see if that was going to be a card presentation. We knew that George John already had one. That was a hard challenge. Now, Charles Hyman had some instruction for Andrew Jacobson. He's going to maybe change a little bit of that instruction now. He would have to. and Really an unnecessary. George John thinks he can get there, but as a center back with the yellow card, you've got to have that in mind. Danny Mwanga's not going anywhere. Hold him up, stand him up. The phrase that Chellis Hyman, FC Dallas coach, always uses is emotional intelligence. Yep. He will use that phrase again. Caleb to the outside. Farfan, thoughts downstairs from Bob Rigby. You know, on that wall that was set up, the other dynamic of that in terms of a left footed and right footed player is Breck Shea is standing on the far post. Oh, do we have another penalty? We do. Sorry, Bob. Second penalty. And you expect Latou's going to step up again. And now it's getting a little heated. It's not getting a little heated. Benitez ran right at the referee. And earlier today, Seattle played Chivas at home. And there was two penalty kicks that should have been called. How difficult is it? That's a penalty. Yeah. Benitez is playing. Farfin's in. That's a penalty. But how often do you say, and I'm completing my thought here, the referee, it's tough to call two penalties in a game. Yep. And two similar penalties where defenders are behind and running into them. And for a younger, lesser experienced referee as well, he immediately pointed to the spot. He was convinced with the, with the call, and it's the right one. Barfin's in, whether your feet are tangled or not. Now the dilemma here is, this is Latou's second penalty. Yeah. What's the dilemma? You know, it, the confidence in Latou is very shaky. Yeah. Does he walk up and hit the same spot? Gamesmanship between shooter and goalkeeper. Especially here because it's the second time Latou scored against Hartman earlier. And Hartman's reminded Latou of his struggles, I can guarantee you right now. Two's got to be strong, confident, bury it. His second chance to tie this game. Now see, this, this stuff on the 18-yard box where the referee's arguing over space, I never understood that. Just stay out of there. You don't want encroachment. Yeah. Probably deliberate to ice the shooter from Dallas' standpoint, I would think. Just a thought. Think or no, because that's exactly what it is. Latou is ready. Latou. 2-2, Latou gets another. How big is this night for him? Wow. Two pressure penalty kicks. Huge, huge penalty kicks. They're not easy to make anyway. But when you're trailing twice? No, and what a good job. He opens up his hips right there. He's got Hartman thinking he's going the other way. Second goal, third PK of the year for the two. Torres goops it in. Mwanga's in. The shot. And that's off Hartman. Corner kick. First one in a long time for Philadelphia. Such a ridiculous ball from Roger Torres. Did Hartman get hurt on that play? I wouldn't be shocked at this ball. Looks like he hurt his left wrist. That shot was moving from Mwanga, as you'll see. What a ball from Roger Torres. This is so difficult. Such a good ball. Danny Mwanga can hit it first time and absolutely hits a cannon. And I think, I don't think Kevin Hartman, such a good save. That's such a good save. Well, they've already used their subs. Bob Rigby, you want to volunteer to play in goal? <laughs> time, five minutes out and on. The two drives in. Not a double by Daniel. Save Hartman. Terrific save. Probably the save of the night. Are you kidding me? Let me change that. Not probably the save of the night. That is the save of the night. No doubt about that one. 
There is no doubt about this. Keon Daniel, great, great corner from Sebastian Latou, but Daniel does a good job. I can't tell you how difficult oh. that is. Hartman's momentum body's going one way, deflected. For him to get that That's a world-class save. World class save. Two on one on this pass. Farfan played it back to Mondragon. Philadelphia escapes there, and they will come away with a point, although Holy it was a little cow. scary at the very end. This was some game, it ends up 2-2.